Hey everyone, I'm Colin Jost, and I'm here on set with GQ. Welcome. Favorite interaction with Lauren Michaels? Oh, sh Can I say shit on this? Probably not, right? Favorite interaction with Lauren Michaels? Ugh. I think one time he said good job, and I almost cried. If he sees this, I don't want, I don't want to reveal too much about how I perceive uh, the world, his world and my world. Like we'll like walk to good nights and uh, like maybe I'll get a pat on the back or my friend Beck Bennett will get a, a pat on the back, but one of us won't. And then we'll like have to like talk about it after the fact, like where I do wrong, where did I get a pat on the back? When I did the last Baby Boss sketch with Cameron Diaz, there's a point where like I slide down the stairs and he's like, we can see your shin guards coming out of your pants. I was like, well, I'll take the lower ones off. And he's like, well, I don't want you to get hurt. And he said that in front of everybody, and I was like, oh, don't worry, Lauren, I won't get hurt. <laughs> Thanks, boss. My favorite interactions with Lauren Michaels was probably one time we were drinking, and we were talking about Richard Pryor. He was telling me some good Richard Pryor stories. He remembers Richard Pryor when he hosted, obviously, from the 70s and stuff. So as a stand-up, those are always kind of the best ones. When you hear, like, stories of great comedians. For a while, I, Lorne Michaels would butt dial me. And it's different like if you get butt dialed by your parents, because you, after two seconds of silence, you just hang up. But when Lorne calls you, you really wait to see if it might be something important. And you're like, wait, please, I, are you sure everything's okay? H have you been kidnapped? Is everything okay? For more videos like this, subscribe to the GQ channel.